what I want to ask you guys was this, and, uh, and either one of you can take this. The last time you worked together, according to IMDb, tells us it was 2010 on the Cartoon Network series Unnatural History. Now, we did see and read a mention um, about a project in possible development, if you can speak to it, called Prophets of the Ghost Aunts. Is that true? And what factors dictate how and when you guys work together? Look, Prophets of the Ghost Ants, if you have if you like uh dystopian fantasy novels the trilogy that clark carlton who by the way we also went to film school with uh, did the the uh novelization of face off and is a marvelous writer uh we love those books and we're still hoping to get it made someday but uh but that has not happened so far right now we are working together actually when when I created Unnatural History, which was, I think, the first live action show for yes. Cartoon Network, um, I brought Michael in because I don't like to do anything without him. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, so he came on as a, a writer producer on the show. And we wrote a few episodes together and we wrote some separately. Uh, of course, I, I, you know, I wrote the pilot. But um, but uh, now uh, the the uh, the wheel has turned completely because Michael's attached to I uh, can we even talk about it? Yeah, Mike? yeah, sure. So Michael, yeah. Michael has co-created um, a, uh, a adaptation of Everett Hartso's uh, 90, 1990s um, uh, fantasy uh, comic book series Razor, uh, and uh, that is gearing up for a September production in Europe. And Michael's awesome. brought me on it. Thank yeah, God, that's, that's awesome. awesome. Thank God. Listen. Why can't you be that type of friend to me? When are you going to bring me on? I'm messing with this. So the answer, so the answer is pretty simple. You guys have have tried working with other people. You prefer you you in, at least enjoy working with each other. So it's just a matter of just when opportunity presents itself. It sounds like yeah. Yeah, if, the, if it's a yes, certainly. Uh, I, I, yes, I, I've I've always felt uh, a lot more confident with what I was doing, knowing that Mike was there, keeping me from outsmarting myself. Uh, too often um, and working on his show Unnatural History that was a bit of an adjustment I must say because you know Mike and I had been partners up to that time but now I was going to be his employee and uh, that gave me I was like uh oh now what's going to happen and uh, it turned out to just be the best gig I ever had um, I love the show and Mike while Mike was getting all these terrible phone calls about budget and things like that from the studio, I was just in the writer's room doing what I what I loved the most, which is dealing with the scripts, dealing with the writers, breaking the stories, doing all that stuff. I didn't have to deal with any of the real headaches. Um, that, that yeah, he wouldn't even go up to Toronto where we were shooting. <laughs> yeah, well, anyway, but uh, that's really, I, no, I, I should have. I really should have. I, I definitely let 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 down the team on that. But um, by the way. Um, the the prop of Sputnik one is in my extra room. Do you want it back? How did you get it? Oh he yeah, gave it that's to right. Me for the that's 10th right. Anniversary. Special. Yes, I will take it back. Sure. Okay. Yeah. He doesn't want it. We have all these little props on our desk. We'll put it here for the show for everybody. Oh well, this one's big. This one. Oh. This. Sputnik it's a real Sputnik size Sputnik. Oh yeah, no, never mind. Size is Sputnik. <laughs>